Once we have robots that can feel pain, then there's another ethical issue of do you want to have robots exposed to pain? What happens if robots then demand rights? Right. Rights to limit the amount of pain that they suffer carrying out tasks for a human being. Because remember, we're going to be asking robots to do all sorts of tasks which are dangerous. That's why we've invented them. And, you know, they may feel pain as a consequence. And then we have to ask ourselves, how far do we want robots to feel pain if they say, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm stop it, I, I feel pain? Are we going to stop it? Do they have rights? What if they become emotionally attached to you? What if you have a robot that calls you every day when you're on vacation? Mm -hmm. Your robot just keeps calling you crying. Michio, come home. I'm by myself in this. What, like, really, what if it becomes attached to you? Well, that's a problem because they're designed to attach to humans. They would be specifically designed to be friendly to humans so that we don't junk them. So, yeah, that's going to be a question. Once we get separated from them, then they're going to want not to be separated because their whole existence revolves around their relationship to us, the master.